Hmm. It's 11 o'clock at night. Yes, I'm in my pajamas, but this video could not wait. And I didn't have time to change. Look, this is comfortable stuff here. I'm not going to change out of this, whatever this is, fleece or, or is Walmart. What it is, is Walmart. Who are you wearing today? Walmart. All day, every day, baby. Anyway. I need to bring you this review. I've heard enough people talk about the show Bridgerton that, uh, you know what, it's time that um, <laughs> that I tell you what I think about it. I have not watched the full show, nor do I uh, want to at this point. Um, I've fast forwarded through a lot of it, through, you know, and uh, enough to... Uh, give you an assessment. But first, let's give a little bit of background. So Bridgerton is based off a certain book by somebody, a, a relatively popular book, but it's the idea is it's taking these old like Victorian era thingamajigs and modernizing it in a revolutionary way and people rave on about the soundtrack. I've heard numbers of Christians rave on about how revolutionary this idea is and, and all that kind of thing. And I'm just left here thinking, guys, are we forgetting something? If you spend uh, 15 minutes watching Bridgerton, you realize something very crucial um, to its um, the nature of what it is. Um, it's porn. I'm sorry, but it is. Like, what else do you call? <laughs> I had to fast forward so much of what I fast forwarded like through the, almost the whole episode because it was just ridiculous. Okay, how many sex scenes do you need in one show a lot apparently because that's all it is man it's fan fiction because people like to watch that crap i don't i'm sorry i that's not something that i want to sign up for that i think is great entertainment or great you know all this kind of thing i don't want any of that and it blows my mind. A lot of things are blowing my mind recently, if you've watched any of these recent videos. But a lot of things are blowing my mind. And Bridgerton's one of those things where, um, why are we giving so much praise to a show that has uh, this much, like, just, like, sexual immorality in it? Like, if we're just going to be straight up, like, I realize, you know, Christians, we want to be in the world. And, and look, we, we all like movies. We like TV. Nobody wants to be the guy that shuts their, you know, the, themselves off from the world and just like, nothing is clean. I'm just going to read, you know, my Bible. And that's it. And whatever. Like, obviously, you know, we don't want to be those people. So what we do is we go into the other ditch of just... Yum, 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 Like, oh, thank you, Netflix, for giving me this new morsel of goodness. Like, yum, yum, yum. Like, guys, not everything that people put out that people say is good is good. That's just the facts. And if we're not willing to put our foot down at some point and say, you know what? As much as we want to be, you know, we realize that non-Christians can make good art sometimes and, and they can do things that are really interesting and creative and that kind of thing. And we can acknowledge that and enjoy those things. Um, we also need to be able to say when something is just wrong and it's just messed up. And um, there's lots of shows like that. But I'm just pitting on Bridgerton because it's one of the most popular ones. It's messed up. It's messed up. And if you don't think so, if you can watch it all the way through and you're just like, no, there's nothing wrong here, you know, it's just people having sex. It doesn't really impact me at all. I don't really, you know, whatever. Like you, that is an issue in and of itself. If that doesn't impact you, like if you become so desensitized to seeing that on screen, to not really thinking twice about it, guys, we got to reel it back. We got to start reevaluating what we're putting in our minds, in our hearts. Like, guys, it's not good. And not everything on any of these streaming services is just like ready for us to just like consume. And look, I'm a creative. I love watching movies and watching TV. And I love like seeing different looks and, and being creative with with art and that kind of thing and and um I, you know honestly I, sometimes i really dislike uh, when people say that they just like shut their lives off to that stuff and go live in a cabin somewhere or even when they don't have a tv i'm like well you know there's lots of good stuff interesting things to watch and and i think some of the stuff you know it makes me appreciate god that much more and in and, and creativity of our world and all that kind of thing um but guys that doesn't mean that we give a thumbs up to a show like Bridgerton. <laughs> like, can we can we put our foot down somewhere? 
can we draw the line somewhere? And I think in terms of our desensitization to like all this sexual stuff that is kind of clouding our media, we just try, kind of grown accustomed to it because we just expect it. We're like, of course, there's going to be this going on and here. Like, that's just the casualty of taking in a good story or that's just a casualty of taking in a, a, you know, good, good creativity, good art. You know, of course, there's going to be that there. But, you know, I'm not here for that. I'm here for the story. It's like, guys, you don't realize what that is doing to you. You were made. God did not design you and, ne and nor does he want you watching other people have sex that's not something that god's like happy with i'm sorry he's not and uh, when we and that's not me just like being some sort of like fundamentalist like oh you know we must not rock and roll is bad and rap is of the devil and tv is a scourge upon our generation like i'm just saying can, do we have any standards at all <sighs> Sure, you can say, Isaac, you're just a fuddy dud, whatever. Like, that's fine. But I've just been seeing too much of this and hearing too much, too many people talk about the their praise and admiration for the creative, you know, just the creativeness of a show like Bridgerton. And yet, um, honestly, it's not even that creative. And it's not even, it's actually kind of terrible in terms of story writing even just the stuff i've seen guys like do we have so low expectations even to, like even take out the, the, the like all the pornography like like we've really sunk low in terms of character development like okay you know these this is uh two people of the same age and maybe they're two of the main characters why don't they sleep together that would be revolutionary in this first episode why not so this leads me into my goal for 2021 i want to become a better storyteller I see stuff like this that is Netflix is putting out and streaming services are putting out and HBO Max are putting out and and we can see, okay, this is garbage. This is not good. But what, you know, we're storytellers, humans. We're, we are created to be storytellers and we got to tell good stories. And so one of my goals is to become a better storyteller. And so... Um, yeah, if you're interested in following along the journey of, of me reading different books and talking about my journey of becoming a better storyteller, um, follow me on Instagram because I post a lot about different things that I'm learning or different books I'm reading. Um, cause I, look, I'm, I'm here for the long haul. I want to build at this and learn how to tell good stories and be a, a good creative and, um, use art to glorify God and, maybe you're watching this and you have some of those desires too. And those, some of those skills, like I just want to encourage you don't give up on that. Um, pursue that because we need people like you making stories <sighs> because our standards have fallen really low. And I think it's time that we, we reevaluate what good God glorifying art and creativity actually looks like. And, um, part of that is looking at ourselves and seeing where we've might've like let down our own expectations of, of what, art good art could be and and pursuing that ourselves and and striving to become good storytellers so anyway that's where i want to be um and uh yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and got something from it <laughs> i'm glad i didn't watch that show and just kind of fast forward through it i don't recommend it at all please don't watch it thank you to all my patrons on patreon that you're able uh, to support me in this way so i'm able to come here in my pajamas and record this video at 11 o'clock at night i love you guys and thank you so much for your support it means the world to me keeps this ministry going so thank you and uh, god bless guys